It's good to have your company. This is Esther from Stampin' Star Creations with the March Stampin' Up! Colour Challenge on Facebook. I'm using Cajun Craze, Pretty Peacock, Balmy Blue and Crumb Cake for our colours this month and I'll be using the Rooted in Nature stamp set and Wildly Happy. I'll be using Shimmer White cardstock for my project today. Going in with Black memento ink to crown those elephants and to bring them into the foreground of my what's going to be my picture and I've already inked up this big tree using pretty peacock spraying it with some spritz of water to stamp that down onto my page now because of the dark colour and because I wanted to risk it <laughs> I decided to go in with a second impression with the tree and thankfully it did come out I was feeling brave and I went in with a third impression so this gave me a nice kind of depth to my picture. Giving my ink pad a bit of a squeeze and it creates a nice well or a palette for some colour and my aqua painter to lay down that lovely rich orangey sandy colour that I was achieving for my scene. So just carefully working around those trees and laying down some sand or Cajun craze. I'm going in again with a bit more of the colour to concentrate around the elephants to create a shadow effect and then I'm just turning my painting round so that it's easy to work with and creating some sky with balmy blue. I bring on my aqua painter back onto the trees just to make it look a bit more complete with a watercolour wash. Then I go in with crumb cake with the elephants and just concentrating on those highlighted areas down one side to give it a more realistic feel. Now I was a bit worried to add on more leaves. I, I wanted the bit to have to sorry I wanted the picture to have more depth put my teeth back in so I used a piece of plastic that came with the stamps just to experiment to see what that would look like if I did stamp the leaves on so if you're a bit scared that you're going to muck up your project by stamping on it this is a great tip to be able to avoid any mistakes I'm glad I added the leaves in and I just think it helps to um, create more depth to the picture I grabbed out a sentiment from Itty Bitty Birthday Greetings and the sentiment you're growing up and stamping it on a bit of Cajun craze with black memento ink. The small trimmer is ha very handy for these small cuts on your table that you want to, to do and using the tailored tag punch to create the um, tail end of one side of my sentiment to give it some interest. Now trying to decide which colour looks best. Now just bear in mind with your picture if you're going to use a strong colour like Pretty Peacock or Cajun Craze, it, your eyes will focus on that colour. So I was finding that it was getting lost on the Pretty Peacock. I tried even double mounting so you can see how many times I've swapped and changed these colours around to get the perfect combination. In the end I've settled with white on the balmy blue. I cut myself a bit of this lovely thick twine and you wouldn't think it was difficult to just lay down a piece of twine on a sentiment would you but I faffed around with this <laughs> until I could make it work for me um, I think at this point I couldn't find my thinner linen thread so I went with this thicker stuff um, I end up cutting this down and then just fraying out those end pieces to give it some um, again, just more interest, a bit of a different look to it. So after all that faffing, I do end up just popping on some dimensionals and to make this stand out a bit. Even then, look, it's still not cooperating with me. <laughs> it's worth it in the end. So there's my card for the challenge. I hope you've enjoyed it. Here's the colours that I've used. Do subscribe to my channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts on my card, my safari elephant card and what I've done for the March uh, Stampin' Up! Colour Challenge. You can shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk. Have a good day. Bye.